There you are in the girls' bedroom. You've been here before uh, when I did the toy box solution for John Crane. As you can see, we are still in the middle of decorating, but hopefully this weekend that's going to change. This stuff is all raised, and so and it's coming off under my fingers. So this week, this morning, I went out and bought this three-in-one base coat, which I hope by covering the walls with it, it will take away that dreadful unevenness. Uh, we've got some polyfilling to do and skirting boards need adding on there and the beds need putting away. I've ordered new beds. Um, they now. look out on our back garden. They're, actually, they're out there. How did they manage that? I bet they go down on the trampoline. Yes, of course, Bessie's already there and Alice is following. That's our garden small patio i'll take you out there a bit later with the girls house the room is separated by this uh, piece where the extension was built on so we've got that tiny bit there and i want to make a feature of that um maybe painting it a different color i am going to choose white for the walls because i hope it will bring more light down to this end and we have this carpet at the moment which although is very good quality is not to my taste and I would like to lift that and put down a wooden floor. Now because of the work going on in this room the other rooms that I'm going to show you are suffering because of it. This here is my guest room it's the fourth bedroom it's a double room there is a bed under there but at the moment I have all the children's bits and pieces stacked in here so I can get on with the job in hand. I've also got a pile of towels that need to go away somewhere and this definitely needs decorating. Uh, it'll probably be one of the last ones we get around to doing because as it's a guest room it's uh, not such a high priority. So there you go. This hallway which will also need seeing to because this wallpaper is not uh, of my choice. Uh, it's a lovely big uh, area though you must admit and of course you've got the bathroom here. Now this we have had done but there are some bits and pieces that need finishing. It was bright orange when we moved in and blue um, and we have added a, a p-shaped bath you can see I've got the girls mats and it's pointless moving that because we are a family and uh, it's just handy to have them there. I'll put a shower in, that orange thing's to clean orange the glass lines I think it was. Um, so it acts as a, a water screen as well. Now the, the guy who came to tile said he would not tile inside that bit which would have looked lovely. So it's at the moment it's that sort of chip stuff. Um, these shelves are all for, I want to change them for just some glass shelves, there's three of them. And I've started to put a beading around the edge but that needs finishing too, which I bought that this morning. So that should be coming out of here. Oh god, this bedroom's the smallest bedroom and it is a dumping ground at the moment. So I've got wood from the uh, wardrobe that we've ripped out. What do you think of the wallpaper, guys? Great. With the curtains? Lovely. Hey? Um, as you can see, I have just got all sorts of bits in. Clothes that are too small for the girls that need to go to the charity shop. Uh, pillows for the extra room. And here we go into the master bedroom. Master bedroom. Lovely um, uh, light room. We haven't decorated this. Those curtains aren't of my choice. Uh, but they'll do for the moment. Now, the guy who did live here was a very good handyman. Apparently he worked for an ITV show and he has fitted this room with wardrobes and there's um I shan't be taking these out because they're not in the way. I might just change the handles and maybe when we get around to decorating do something with the doors. Um, Daddy sleeps on this side. That's not his microphone I can assure you. It's the girls. They've obviously been in here. Uh, we often find toys all over the house and here's my corner. There's my two older kids when they were tiny. That was Mother's Day 1999. Don't know if you can see that well enough. And that's the book I'm reading at the moment, or trying to read, because I never oh. get around to reading it. So, yeah. cool, cool. That's lovely. That came from it. So, there we go. That is upstairs. Uh, nice cupboard there. Toilet rolls, in case you're wondering. <laughs> there they are. Fair of them. Larking around on the trampoline. We saw them from upstairs. They go in and out on their own now, which is really good. You're outside in the back garden. 
Here's my strawberries. There. Coming on nicely. A few little ones coming a lot. And I started planting my tomatoes. There's my grow bag that they sent me, the, the frame to put that in. So that's up and running. And there's some more tomatoes there. Uh, just in case you're wondering, there's still some more on the table over there that I have to plant. But I'm, I'm exhausted and I just don't know how many tomatoes we're going to eat this summer. So that's the back of the house. Uh, it was the extension built on, which obviously allows us the fourth bedroom now. Uh, there's my flower basket that I bought yesterday. There, love. The time is ten past four. As you can see, it's been a very busy day. Most of the toys are sprawled across the front room. Shoes, children, blankets, fairy wings, slippers that never seem to be on feet, upsy-daisy. And yes, it's a bit of a mess because I, once they sit down, I will then go ahead and tidy up. I am about to iron, that's why that is there, otherwise it wouldn't normally be there. That is my other half's Valentine presents. Can you believe I have a dartboard in my, in my living room? But on the other hand, we don't get out anymore and uh, therefore it's got to be done. That's one of my favourite oil paintings which I bought in Malchesina and Lake Garda and she'd only just finished uh, painting. Just switch that off, actually. So there we go. Uh, this bit here would have been the old kitchen which they have turned, well, when I say they I mean the people before, they turned it into a dining room. Now we haven't put the table there simply and solely because we can't see the television of an evening. And then all of that behind that wall, that's where the old French windows were that went onto the garden, is an extension on both sides. And this is the part of the house that actually makes me put my hands in my hair. Uh, it needs total um, renovation. That's where they had the washing machine and I've obviously got mine. We go through a corridor, there's the garden where you were earlier, into the kitchen. Um, it's a good size, but it's, it's certainly not my style. It, I can live with it. It's white. Uh, it does the trick. That's messy corner where everything gets shoved for me to then put away. Uh, the people before us had a huge hob, but they took the hob, so I brought my oven with me. And I'm not changing it right now because basically I want to uh, knock this wall down. Okay, on the other side of this wall is the lounge. I want to knock that down, come through, have French windows onto the patio and my dining, room, dining table here. And then on this side where we've got uh, a very 70s look at that ceiling isn't it vile uh, it's a wet room it's a it's got a shower it's got a sink and obviously the toilet and, our, and behind this monstrosity here is the boiler um, so basically I want to rip the whole lot out <laughs> much to the joy of my other half because it's not a DIY project we can take on ourselves and have this whole area for playroom down to here as kitchen and utility room and a downstairs toilet. I don't think we need the shower, but we'll have to sort out the space. There's my little lovelies. That was done just before Christmas last yeah. year. Are you showing off with the camera? <laughs> and you, I can see you. There's my front door, okay? Again, it's a, a monstrosity but I can live with it. Um, that opens up onto a very handy porch. Yeah, I'd take that door out and put a brand new one in. I do like the idea of those glass bricks, you know, uh, and maybe the door on the other side, but that's another job uh, to be done in the future. So there you have it. Knock that wall down, put the table down the end with the uh, doors going onto the patio, and on this side, a beautiful state-of-the-art kitchen and a utility room off of it. Uh, come back when the work's done or come back and draw me some designs that'd be even better. Here's our art. I'll leave you with our Easter art. There you go. Can you see the chicks? There. Listen to that. Not a sound. Paul and the girls are out in the garden and I have spring cleaned the lounge, washed the floor, dusted, 
we've got birthday cards out because we've both had birthday cards recently but this is how it should look on a, on a tidy day.